Thank you, Crafty. And it is Christina Day. I am doing a scrap lift of Christina's. It's from um, her, a January video, I believe she did, for Stampers for Scrapbookers. It will be linked in the video right here above um, in that upper little ref, right corner. So I am working with a small amount of Simple Stories Cozy Christmas that I have um, from 2014 using up some of my stash. You know, Christina's always really good about stash bashing. I love her stash bash palooza class. Best thing that's ever happened to me this year. Seriously, like creative wise, so many good ideas, so many juices flowing when I take that class. So in what I had of a mini collection, um, there was that beautiful wood grain paper with the ornaments. Well, I have simple stories, um, basics so it's called snap basics or something where it's just wood grain papers so I happen to have it's like the same wood grain it's like the same one it just doesn't have the ornaments on it so I really liked the idea of framing my layout um she framed her layout I'm not going to show you a picture of her layout because uh, I really want you to go watch her video and it's hard to get a, a picture of it from a video too so but you'll see what happens so essentially she said in her video that she watched, I don't remember who at the moment, somebody make a card with this technique. And I love that Christina can take something that's on a smaller scale and stretch it out or take a small idea she sees somewhere else and stretch it out for a 12 by 12. I love it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a bunch of my Christmas um, stamps. I have a ton of jelly bean soup ones. I think I got a set one time. Um, of like three different ones and then I have so like that snowflake um, is a jelly bean soup the the trees are the ornament is the weird yellow square one I don't remember what that is um, I think the like set is called Noel I've had that forever turns out it's a lot taller than all my other stamps so I have to like adjust and so is the 25 I just put down which is from the Heidi Swap um, from her Christmas collection I believe last year it's her stamp set. So I'm using some of those too and just sprinkling some stars. There's a bow, a little tree, a lot of different snowflakes. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a border in four different colors. And I'm, she, with Christina, she just kept the same pattern. Well, some of my stuff, I wanted it upright. It didn't seem right to me to be, have it upside down. And I don't have a big stamping platform. I really should get a Misty. Um, I got this one on discount somewhere. It was a Tim Holtz one. It was only the small one, but I should get a big 12 by 12 Misty because I really like it and it would make my life easier. Um, for, but for this, it worked fine because I only needed to do one corner at a time. So it worked fine. Anywho, so I'm adjusting my stamps, getting everything down, and then I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to stamp, um, kind of a similar pattern in all four corners of the page. So right now I'm inking up with um, Distressed Ink Peeled Paint. And then the other th three colors I'm going to use are Distressed Oxides. I don't have very many inks and I only have the mini pads, but I really like the way the Distressed Oxides stamp. I like the way they have the creamy, thick texture better than the ink, so I don't have as many inks. But I also use Barn Door, Old Paper, and Tumbled Glass. Now, this collection didn't have a lot of blue in it, but I was also using some old stickers from my stash that were, oh, what are they called? Um, I'll have to think of it. You guys would totally know what they are if I said it, but I can't think of it at the moment. So here you can see I'm trying to like fix my boo-boos. It just, what I realized, one, is that weird square, it was a square stamp with that cool circle thing on it. It was way taller, like twice as tall as everything else. So it wasn't letting things stamp. And then when I removed that though, I was still having problems. Well, it turns out my Heidi Swap one, tw the 25, um, also oh, was too tall and was causing problems and not letting all the other stamps touch. So I, after that time, I figured that out and I removed it and look how much better it stamps. <laughs> and for some reason, I like the way the oxide stamp better, like I said. So there I go. And then you take that same color and you lightly ink over it. So you have like a tone on tone look and it just softens. It looks so nice. And oh my gosh, this pink, this pink and main mini blender brush. <gasps> game changer. I've been a wand blender person. I'm not a mixed media person. Like 
like I know things. I don't know things. I just try things and I like the way it looks sometimes. <laughs> but the pink and main blender brush, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I only have the minis. I have two of them. I love them. I love it. Yeah, these. Okay, so these. Is it not recollections? Um, Julie, no, not Julie. Jubilee something. Maybe you guys would totally know. But there's, a, I have a sticker sheet from the Cozy Days too. And this is kind of what Christina did too. She had like washi tape. And, um, but so on her layout, she didn't frame the whole back and she just framed the inside one with black. But I had all this beautiful wood grain. I wanted to bring that in and creamy cardstock. So now I'm just taking my photo. It's an oldie <laughs> from our Christmas 2008. So pre-marriage, pre-baby, pre-everything. Just dating, happy. I thought it would be a great layout. Um, Christina makes me so happy on all her inspiration. So I wanted to just do a layout that would just make me happy. So I'm just sprinkling a few of the stickers around now too. And um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave a white space up there. I... I I'm kind of like, oh, I should do something about it, but I don't. I leave it there because there's so much cool stuff going on around in the background. You need a little place for your eye to rest. And then I have these um, blue stickers that are snowflakes as well to bring some of the blue in because there actually isn't any blue in the collection itself. So that's why I want to use up some of my old stickers. I just use so many things and I love it. So yeah, there you have it. I'm going to go in um, and stamp, um, three little circles. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be holly berries. They were in one of the collections, um, in frayed burlap just to bring some brown into the background. Christina also suggested this with the black when she did her stamping. You have to go check out her video. It was awesome. But this is my Christina day layout. You guys, I'm so thankful for her and all of the inspiration she gives. Um, make sure you go check her out and see everybody else who's playing along. Thanks. Bye.